Alright, here is a quick video review for an older figure. Uh, this is Transformers United Arc Unicron. It was a, a repaint of the Cybertron Unicron. They released him as a deluxe uh, where he turned into this little uh, tank thing, a uh, little drone-y thing. And I'm not sure, I, I vaguely, I watched some of Cybertron. By that point I was still collecting the toys but had stopped watching the show. So I don't know if he showed up in this form in the cartoon or not, but I know, like, they dealt with him in Armada, and I always pictured this as, like, he got blown up, and this is some small chunk of him that survived, slowly kind of reforming himself, and this was uh, his thing. Uh, I've seen some people, since I posted some pictures on Twitter, talk about how they like to think of him as, like, an uh, like a smaller autonomous drone that Unicron could use to explore, or an avatar when he couldn't, you know, projects his whole, you know, his whole planet itself couldn't go somewhere. And they're all neat theories, but it's just a neat little kind of rolly... It's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a neat-looking spaceship. It does look vaguely arkish. This is a little loose. There's some pieces... I had to put some nail polish on one of these. There's some pieces that feel looser than the original uh, Cybertron release that I had. I don't have it anymore. I'd bring them out to compare, but... Uh, yeah, and I'm not sure if that's just the fact that it's been... Like, this was brand new in the box when I got it. I don't know if it's because it's been, this has been sitting in the box for a decade or so. I I, I don't know. Um, but that's easily fixable. And like I said, I did have to put some nail polish on the peg on this one because it just it wouldn't fit in any hole. So yeah, so this, this is a little wobbly, but the cannon can go up and down. You can see the wheels roll. He's got some little wheels under here on the treads. Uh, these little uh, thingies can rotate, although I'm not entirely sure why. Um... Because I'm pretty sure they stay in that mode when you fold them on it. Anyway. But the panels are the thing. He does have a spring-loaded missile. That I didn't push all the way in. There you go. And it launches okay. Um, and then he's got um, he's got this smaller little gun right here. Kind of a little radar dish thing. And he does have his like planetary mouth. Which, because Cybertron, it came with this old cyber key. And you can plug it in there. And when you push that in, it opens... Uh, it opens those... Uh, Jaws and there's a little tri like a little Gatling gun uh, and translucent red plastic in there, and transparent red plastic. Um, now I remember on my old one, the planet key. In, in, this is his back in robot mode, and so the planet key sticks out very far in his back in robot mode to have that open, as well as vehicle mode. But you you need it to activate that uh, that gimmick. And I remember on my old one, I took a, a piece of like a just a bottle cap, a plastic bottle cap, and I shaped it. And I got it in here and I glued it to the little peg that the planet key activates. So it just had a little slightly red button sticking out the back just a little bit. And you could push it and make the uh, and make the little mouth go chompy, ch you know, kind of do the chompy, 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 chompy thing without having to use the planet key. Obviously, I haven't done it on this one and probably will not. But it is something you can do. Transforming him is actually a pretty decent... Uh, it's, it's not... It's not... It's... It's not super easy, but it's not uh, all that involved either. So you take these off. You can leave these on the legs, but just to get them out of the way, I take them off. Then you come under here and you untab, untab the feet here from the treads. You kind of bring those out to the side. And you can unpeg this. It's pegged in here, and then there's some tabs on this that go into this part of the arm. So bring this down. And then you come under here and pull... The whole leg assembly down and rotate it around at the waist and then this whole assembly comes up and the arms you want to open up and fold up there's a you can see this cut out here for the peg and then you bring this all up and around this is going to peg into the torso and then this hinge is going to slide up into a slot up here so you should push that all the way down and lock it into place and then fold in this piece and then fold in this piece up into here, and it just kind of gives. It does kind of give him a pointy chest, but it does fold all the way up into there. If you want, you, you can you can leave that down a little bit if you want it to have less of an angle. But bring the legs down and around. Put the hinge there. I'll flip out his toe, and then flip out his heel. I bring the arms up, I rotate them around, and then they kind of slot right in there. And the same here. And you can see there, like the arms, there's a lot of the uh, detailing from the Armada Unicron here, like the, these sh uh, shoulder pan uh, pauldrons, I guess. But open that up, flip out his fist, and this folds up. 
and this just kind of folds around underneath the arm like that. Same over here. And then flip down his head and turn it around. Now these have a hinge on them. You can fold these back and around, uh, around the back of the legs. You can rotate them around like that, which I think is how, how I usually do. I rotate them up and around like that. So they sit a little higher up on the leg. But then you can also, like some pictures I've seen have this hinge coming forward and it just seems like that's a little bit of a, a mess on the legs. You, you can leave them down lower on the leg as well. It's up to you. I like to have them so a little higher, like their hip plates more. But uh, again, that's your personal preference. These ankles are a little loose. Now, fortunately, there's a few places where I've got some loose bits that um, because of the construction, it's, these, it's an older toy, so I can just tighten some of these screws and fix it. And there he is, and he's got the same gimmicks here in robot mode. He's got the spring-loaded missile, the gun. You can still use the, uh, the cyber key to activate the chest gimmick like that. Although this is what I'm saying, it kind of sticks out the back. Although he's got, the way the wheels hang back, these don't collapse or anything. They just kind of hang out here on his back. So, he's got a bit of a backpack there. But I dig, I dig the look of him. Again, it looks like a regenerating Unicron, kind of samurai-esque Unicron. Somebody mentioned uh, when I posted this that he was sad we never got a, a bludgeon remold out of this, and I think that would have worked really well. Um, now, the original version of this, you can see this is kind of more of a butterscotch, ye orangey yellow here. Whereas uh, the original was much more uniform, much more evenly unicron colored. And most of the plastic was a yellow orange that matched much closer to his helmet. And on the arc repaint, we got some darker grays and some darker brown oranges on him. These weapons, uh, you can plug in to his hands as claw weapons. Like There's two different types. There's one that has a peg and then a spike on each side. And then one that just has a spike coming out from the little peg. Uh, and th that one you have, you, this one you can plug into either side of the arm. This one can only go on the top because otherwise it'll run into this thing. But you can kind of put those together to make some claw weapons for him. Like I said, you can plug in this one. You can make the, come on. There we go. So you can make that claw weapon. You can leave this off and you can just give him, if you just want to have him like that. You can put that on the on the top there. What I like to do is I just like to store them on the legs. Um, and how, how do I usually do that? Yeah, like that. Put the bigger one on the top and then have the smaller one pointing up. And that gives him some detail on his legs. It stores them. And then you don't have, like, because I said the, the claw weapon's neat, but because of how they're designed, there's just enough curve in these things that they don't actually look, look like a pinch claw. Like, they kind of overlap. You can see this, like you can't get him to like actually sit in an actual claw looking formation. So I just leave him on the legs. And again, how you lay them out on the legs is up to you, but. But he's got a, he's got a swivel head, a little bit of flappiness here on that hinge. Um, rotating shoulders in both directions, a bicep swivel. Hinge elbow, no wrist swivel, uh, waist swivel, ball joint hips, thigh swivel, good knees. You get all the way around. That's really the wheels that stop him from going anymore. He's got the dual toes, no ankle tilt. This is back before they really started putting ankle tilt into a lot of figures. And then, the, like I said, the can can angle up and down. But yeah, I don't have any other toys from this era easily available to compare with but uh for fun here he is with um with studio series hot rod and cup just to give you any idea of the size and also while well, i took a picture of him with uh war for cybertron unicron earlier today and posted on twitter i obviously i'm, I'm not going to completely take over my table again just to bring Unicron down to compare him. But I did pop his head off, so there he is compared to uh, the HasLab's head. So yeah, it's an it was a neat little nostalgia trip. Like, I, I, I always kind of dug this design. It, it was just weird enough to be fun. 
and uh, and it was something I, I'd had in my watch list uh, on eBay for a long time. I've been I've been considering picking this guy up for months, well before uh, the Haslab version showed up, and the Haslab version showing up finally uh, kicked me in the pants, and I picked it up. But there is Arc Unicron from Transformers United. Also, uh, it's the same book from Transformers Cybertron. He's neat. He's cool. Um, he's he's small. He's not the smallest Unicron. There's like a Robot Heroes, I think, was the line. A little Playmates. Uh, they're not Playmates, but little rubber figure that didn't transform. I'm going to have to dig out somewhere. <laughs> and somebody else asked today if I still had the uh, Unicron from Transformers Prime. And I do somewhere. And putting him on as a headmaster in mountain mode on the HasLab. So I may have to do that at some point. Anyway, there's Arc Unicron. Uh, thanks for watching. He's, he's a fun fun little throwback. Um, either version of the mold, the United or the Cybertron version original, are worth picking up.